plot goes into making good media. Producing a film or TV show takes blood, sweat, and tears. Sometimes the process can seriously injure a member of the cast or crew, or even claim an innocent life. A production horse has died of cardiac arrest during rehearsals for the Lord of the Rings prequel series, The Rings of Power. We are deeply saddened to confirm that a production horse died, an Amazon Studios spokesperson announced. The incident took place in the morning whilst the horse was being exercised prior to rehearsals. The trainer was not in costume and filming had yet to commence. Both a veterinarian and a representative of the American Humane Association were present at the time. The independent necropsy has confirmed that the horse died of cardiac failure. Animal rights organization PETA had a thing or two to say about the horse, which was supplied by respected outfitter The Devil's Horseman and which was said to have shown no prior health problems before it died. It seems that living underground with the orcs is par for the course for the producers of The Rings of Power, because they have the option to use CGI, mechanical rigs and other humane methods that wouldn't run vulnerable horses to death on set, said senior vice president Lisa Lang, for The Hollywood Reporter. PETA is calling on the show's creators, and all other producers, to take on a new quest without using any real horses. If they can't avoid exploiting animals for their art, they should find a new medium, because no one wants to see a spin-off for TV with Torment as the theme. Let's go and find out which other productions featured cast and crew who were seriously injured or worse during filming. The Mummy. Brendan Fraser revealed that he, nearly, died while filming one particular scene in 1999's, The Mummy. Speaking on, The Kelly Clarkson Show, the actor revealed that in a hanging sequence the rope tightened around his neck too much and he was choked out. I was standing on my toes like this, with the rope around my neck, and you only got so far to go, Fraser explained. And, director, Stephen, Summers ran over, and he said, hey, it doesn't really look like you're, you know, choking, can you sell it? And I was like, all right, fine. So I thought, one more take, man. For the last take, Fraser stood on his toes while a crew member pulled the rope a little higher. I was stuck on my toes, I had nowhere to go but down, Fraser recalled. And so he was pulling up, and I was going down, and the next thing I knew, my elbow was in my ear, the world was sideways, there was gravel in my teeth, and everyone was really quiet. When the stunt coordinator woke him, he informed him, congratulations, you're in the club, the same thing happened to Mel Gibson on Braveheart. The whale, star joked that he could only respond, thanks, I think. I wanna go home. P.S. I love you. Though, P.S. I love you, doesn't seem like it would be a dangerous movie to film, Gerard Butler revealed that he, almost killed, Hilary Swank while filming in 2007. During his appearance on, The Drew Barrymore Show, on January 24, the actor recalled a scene in which he had to dance, like an idiot in boxer shorts and a pair of suspenders, and though his character was supposed to get hit in the face with a suspender clip, the metal fastener, slashed, Swank's head instead. He recalled the terrible moment. I'm crawling towards the bed, it gets stuck, it releases and flies over my head, hits her in the head, slashes her head. Butler continued, she has to get taken to the hospital. Imagine the studio, in three seconds, everybody's gone. And I'm just sitting there in my Irish boxer shorts and my boots, pair of socks, and I just started crying. He said it was one of those instances where he felt imposter syndrome the strongest, but fortunately Swank was okay and the film was a big success. Kristen Chenoweth. Kristen Chenoweth suffered a serious on-set accident while filming the CBS drama, The Good Wife, in 2012, which she talks about in her book, I'm No Philosopher, But I Got Thoughts. During an appearance on, Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, the host asked her about the fallout of that accident, and Chenoweth admitted she regrets not taking legal action against the television network at the time. I didn't do it out of fear and anxiety, so don't ever let fear rule your life, Chenoweth said. I have long-standing injuries from that, so I wish I had listened to my dad, who said, you're going to want to do this. And we're not the suing family, but when you're practically killed. The actress sustained a 7-inch skull fracture, as well as injuries to her ribs and teeth, after a piece of lighting equipment hit her in the face. My hair extension saved my life, Chenoweth said. It made the hairline fracture go together. My doctor said, what are these metal things? I said, they're hair extensions. And he said, they've saved your life. Cast and crew of, The Chosen One. Some cast and crew members of the Netflix series, The Chosen One, were riding in a production van when it crashed and flipped in an accident on June 16, 2022, near Mulaje, Mexico on the Baja California Sur Peninsula. Actors Raimundo Garduño Cruz and Juan Francisco González Aguilar, known professionally as Paco Mufo, died in the accident, which also resulted in six other injuries among the cast and crew, Deadline, reports. Jonathan Goodwin Former stuntman and daredevil Jonathan Goodwin suffered permanent damage on the set of America's Got Talent, Extreme, back in October 2021. The daredevil performer was trying out an extreme stunt shortly before the premiere, but it all went devastatingly wrong. 
Goodwin was suspended 70 feet 21 meters in the air, strapped into a straitjacket. The goal was to release himself from the jacket and drop onto an air mattress below before two cars hanging on either side of him crashed together. The timing was off and Goodwin was instead hit by the cars which burst into flame. When he fell to the ground, he missed the air mattress and hit his head. His fiancée, Amanda Abington, shared the extent of his injuries on a podcast in April. She revealed that he had lost a kidney, broke both shoulder blades, shattered both legs. She continued the long list, third-degree burns, broke his spine and severed his spinal cord and nearly died. And then on the operating table, he nearly died again. Goodwin was paralyzed in the accident and will spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Despite the traumatic, life-changing event, he is positive about the future. A lot has changed in the last six months, but love is a constant and I'm very very loved. Looking forward to my next chapters and being a role model, he quipped on Instagram. Norman Reedus. The Walking Dead, star Norman Reedus, known for playing Daryl, one of the show's longest surviving characters, was involved in an accident on set in March that sent him to the emergency room. Although the details of the incident weren't revealed, Reedus was diagnosed with a concussion and took some time off filming to recover. The Walking Dead, is currently producing its 11th and final season after an incredible run. Acting in an action-packed zombie apocalypse drama is no doubt a dangerous way to spend your time, and this isn't the first time Reedus has been injured. He has spoken of at least two other occasions where he received a nasty cut on camera. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, he once said, Why am I always getting hurt? I get hurt all the time. I feel like I should have like football pads on at all times, even when I'm just walking around. Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville is known as one of the most reckless, indestructible individuals ever to appear on our screens. The Jack Sizz star has been risking his life doing crazy stunts for the sake of entertainment for decades now, but he's finally ready to call it a day. Knoxville revealed that he sustained a serious injury while filming, Jack S.S. Forever. A stunt involving a bull resulted in a broken wrist, broken ribs, and a concussion. He even suffered brain damage and was seriously cognitively impaired for a while afterward, struggling to concentrate or function normally. I can't take any more hits to the head. My brain was just playing tricks on me. I got really depressed and over-focused on things. I did have to start medication for the first time in my life, he told Howard Stern. He says he won't be doing any more extreme stunts after that scare. Neve Campbell. During an appearance on, The Kelly Clarkson Show, Neve Campbell recalled being attacked by a bear on an unnamed movie set in Canada when she was 17. I was playing this role where she's, one with the animals and there was a scene where I'm supposed to be getting chased by a bear. They brought this bear on set and they first gave me this big bottle of coke to feed it. So now, this is a bear on a sugar rush. And then, they said, and I'm 17, so I'm really dumb, they said, dip your hand in honey and just run. And when you get to the tree over there, turn around and stick your hand out and feed the bear. And I, of course, wanting to please everyone was like, okay. Though she followed the instructions exactly, the bear did not slow down and did not go for her honey-covered hand. He grabs me by the leg and he pulls me through the forest. My mother happens to be visiting set, so she's screaming. The whole crew is frozen because no one can believe what's happening. All I can think to say is, he's biting me, like it's not obvious. Fortunately, the film's bear wrangler started throwing rocks at the animal until it started charging at him, giving Campbell the opportunity to escape. She was lucky to get away without any major injuries. Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain stars as a CIA agent in the action thriller, The 355 Feet and she performed a number of her own stunts on set. She revealed that she was rushed to hospital after a nasty accident that resulted in a head injury. While filming a fight scene on a marble floor, she hit her head and heard an audible, crack. Chastain says that her stunt double rushed up to her and said, I'm sorry, but I have to put it back in. This caused her to panic, put what back in? Are my brains outside of my face? What is happening? Reflecting on the moment, she said, I guess it was just a bruise she was pushing back in my head. Chastain insisted on doing a couple more takes to get the perfect shot before heading to hospital to get checked out. She joked that the injury, might be why I am the way I am today. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell made a lucky escape on the set of, Anchorman 2 Feet Back in 2013, according to director Adam McKay. He recalled the incident in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter while discussing safety measures in light of the, rust, shooting. It was a scene where Ron Burgundy was going to hang himself. It was a silly joke. For a half a second, the rig didn't operate properly and there was actual tension on the rope, but then it gave way and Will was okay. Thank God no one was hurt. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa is one of Hollywood's most beloved strongmen, but even he isn't impervious to on-set injuries. His role as Aquaman has him performing all sorts of daring stunts, which are usually his forte, but things got rough while filming, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom.
Momoa discussed the dangers of being an aging superhero, with Ellen DeGeneres, I messed up my eyes. I just got something in it that kinda cut it up, and then I've gotta get surgery, I have a hernia, I've got ribs out. I'm just getting beat up, but it's gonna be a great movie, you're gonna love it. Hopefully it's worth the pain. America's Got Talent, Extreme. NBC has temporarily halted production on their spin-off series, America's Got Talent, Extreme, after stuntman Jonathan Goodwin was airlifted to a hospital following a stunt gone wrong on October 14. According to TMZ, who also shared graphic footage of the stunt, Goodwin was strapped in a straitjacket and suspended in the air with two cars on each side of him, rigged to crash into each other. Although he managed to free and unhook himself to fall onto the airbag below, the timing was off and he was caught between the colliding vehicles, which set off a rigged explosive. An on-set medic reportedly explained that Goodwin, fell about 40 feet, missed the airbag, landed on his head. Fortunately, he came to during the trip to the hospital, where he then underwent surgery and remained in the trauma ward. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Filming is currently underway for the, Black Panther, sequel, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. British actress Letitia Wright was reportedly sent to hospital to treat injuries sustained on a stunt rig. The thing that makes actors look like they're flying through the air in movies. Luckily, her injuries don't seem to be serious. Wright plays the role of Shuri in the Marvel franchise and is likely to have many more stunts to perform before production ends. Nick Jonas, Unnamed Project. Nick Jonas suffered an injury on the night of May 15 while filming an unnamed new project. He was immediately taken to the hospital by ambulance, ET reports. Fortunately, the singer was able to return to work on The Voice, on May 17, where he told his co-stars that he's been better, but I'm doing all right, explaining that he sustained a cracked rib from a spill on a bike and a few other bumps and bruises. He asked of his fellow coach, Blake, please don't make me laugh too much. Killers of the Flower Moon. Though it wasn't exactly while filming, Robert De Niro suffered a quadriceps muscle injury while at his on-location home in Oklahoma during the filming of Martin Scorsese's upcoming flick, Killers of the Flower Moon. He went to seek medical treatment in New York, though Deadline reports the production will not be stalled since De Niro wasn't scheduled to film again for another three weeks. Fast and Furious 9. The Fast and Furious films are filled with shocking stunts. In 2019, Vin Diesel's stunt double suffered a serious head injury while filming in Hertfordshire. Deadpool 2. In 2017, stuntwoman Joy Harris lost control of a motorcycle on set, and suffered a fatal crash. The Walking Dead. A stuntman named John Bernicker fell more than 20 feet, 6 meters, off a balcony. He passed away the following day. Resident Evil. The final chapter. Ricardo Cornelius, a crew member, was crushed to death by a vehicle on set. Stunt double Olivia Jackson also suffered serious injuries, which were not fatal. Power. 50 Cent sent out his condolences after a crew member named Pedro Jimenez was struck by a car while on set in New York City. Blade Runner 2049. Back in 2016, an unidentified construction worker was killed when deconstructing a film set. The incident took place in Budapest, Hungary. G.I. Joe. Retaliation. An unnamed worker was killed when deconstructing a set in New Orleans, Louisiana. He died after falling off a scissor lift on set. Pleasantville. After working a 19-hour workday on set, cameraman Brent Hirschman fell asleep at the wheel and died. Although it didn't happen on set, the incident caused an uproar against film studios. Vampire in Brooklyn. Sonia Davis, a stunt double for Angela Bassett, left died after a brutal fall. The Skywayman. In this film, pilots Milton Elliott and Ormer Locklear pictured died while filming scenes at night. The Crow. Brandon played the titular star in The Crow. Months before the film's release, he was shot by a prop gun and died. The Return of the Musketeers. Back in 1988, actor Roy Kinnear died after a horseback riding accident. Twilight Zone, the movie. Perhaps one of the most tragic entries, three actors died during the filming of Twilight Zone. They included Vic Morrow, and two child actors, Micah Dinla and Renee Shinyi Chen. XXX. During filming of XXX, Harry L. O'Connor, Vin Diesel's stunt double, was killed during a parasailing stunt. For your eyes only. This Bond film features a famous chase scene on a bobsleigh run. A stuntman named Paolo Riggin was killed after striking a tree in a bobsleigh. The Lone Ranger. Michael Bridger, a crew member, drowned while cleaning a water tank. The Battle of Britain. Don Federico Iglesias Lanzos, a Spanish Air Force pilot, was killed during the production of Battle of Britain. The Expendables 2. A stuntman named Kun Lu died while filming in Ellen Pelin, Bulgaria. The tragedy occurred during a staged explosion on a rubber boat. The Five of Me. In this made-for-TV movie starring David Burney pictured, a cameraman named Jack Tanberg was hit and killed by a stunt car. Magnum, P.I. When filming this crime drama, cameraman Rob Van Der Kar was involved in a fatal helicopter crash. Coley Lockham. 
Jayan was an Indian actor and cultural icon, who was killed in a helicopter crash. The Iger Sanction. David Knowles was a climber, body double, and photographer, who was killed during a rock fall when filming, The Iger Sanction. Across the border. This was one of the first film-related fatalities. Grace McHugh was filming in a boat, which then capsized. Camera operator Owen Carter jumped to save her, but dragged her onto quicksand. The rest of the crew watched as they were consumed by the quicksand. Ben-Hur. During the filming of the 1925, Ben-Hur, an unnamed stuntman was killed during the filming of a chariot race scene. Ocean's Deadliest. During a filming break for, Ocean's Deadliest, Steve Irwin was struck by a stingray, which killed him. Crossbones. In this low-budget film, cinematographer Neil Fredericks was killed when a jet he was in crashed. Red Heat. While filming in Austria, stuntman Benny Dobbins had a fatal heart attack. The Messenger. In 2002, scores of lives were lost in the Kolka Karmadon rock ice slide. Among those dead were actor and director Sergei Bodrov Jr., along with dozens of film crew members. Midnight Spares. During the production of this film, which starred Gia Caritas pictured focus puller David Brostov died. He was involved in an accident during a motor race scene. The Sword and the Sorcerer. George Mahari's pictured starred in this film. Stuntman Jack Tyree died while performing a stunt in Los Angeles. Lord of the Rings. Horse dies on set of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, PETA condemns, exploiting animals for their art. Please do subscribe for more information. Thank you for watching.